Hey buddy, it's me Colin. Today we are doing the sway bar link, right? And what and then whatever. I forgot the name of this. Sway bar bushing. Sway bar bushing. Alright. So we're gonna get in here. Colin's gonna do his work. So first thing you need on here is, is a up. 17 millimeter or a hold on. What was it? 7 16 yeah, how do I do uh, this? The 17 millimeter fits better. Alright, You're going the wrong way. Grab the socket wrench off. Pull it off. No, no. Take the whole thing off. Lift it up. See that little black bar on the back? Where your hand? Right there? This? Nope. The little bar by your hand. Nope. Under it. Flip that sideways. There you go. Oh, now no. you're going to push away from you. Yep. The other way. No. Nothing? No, you way. can't get it? No, no. You need to go this way towards me. Towards me. It will go. Oh, I don't. I don't want it. Oh, there, there you go. go. Is it just spinning or is it going? It's, it's going. It's a lot. It just tightened it. Okay. So we're gonna spray some more. We had some PB blast in. We might spray a little more. We're gonna see if my hands can do it though. Remember, it's still. He's a big boy, but he's still a little boy. Wrong way, dude. It doesn't work. No, you're no, tightening. This it. is our way. No. No. You're tightening it. What's that? Yeah, you're tightening it. I'm done. All right, we're gonna grab my. Hold on. We're gonna grab my uh, bipod so I can help him. All right, let me come in and show him real quick. Watch out, dude. Watch out. Let me break it free for you. <laughs> let me get the, get the manpower on it. Watch out. Hang on. I got this. Watch. Oh, no. Nope. All right, you get like this. Grab right here. Oh, and there you I go. forgot that you do that. No, it's because I'm bigger. That's it. No. It was not bad. You loosened it up for me. You got yeah, it? You on. did it. Okay, stop. We're going to leave that on. Okay, that's enough. We want it loose. Okay? Next thing you're going to need... Is, is a needle nose pliers. Nose. Okay. So right here, watch your head come. There's a castle nut. So you're gonna have to bend this cotter pin. We might lose it. It's been here so long. That might break. It might break and we might have to get another one. I bent them straight, but now we're gonna grab that uh dead blow hammer over there for him. The orange hammer. Yep. Orange. orange hammer. Again, to me, I'm gonna do it. It needs a gentle hand. But pay attention, okay? So Gently tap it. Hopefully, not gonna do it. As you can see, I just bent it. It's been in here forever. These old cotter pins they get abused, and yeah, we've lost part of it. Is that part of it? Uh, yep. Look at me. Put that in the trash can by the fridge in the garage. Got it. So it does not get anywhere flat in the tire. So you may lose a cotter pin and hope that there in that box comes with a new one. Would this where is this where it would be? Hold on. No, no. Any other thing. Hold on. So we got that other part of that. We're gonna throw it away, but leave it out. Okay. Throw it away now. now the good thing is, do we throw it away now? No, hold on. Since it broke in half like that, you can get it out. If they break in there, you're gonna have trouble forcing out and have to use a real small screwdriver. Okay. Pause this kick. Hold on, guys. We'll be up. Okay. So the thing comes hold with it. cotter pins. Cotter pins are here and they're huge for this Jesus. one compared to what's there, which is good. They don't always come with that. So we got very lucky. We're gonna test this the same size, and it is not. So we're gonna to have to grab an 18 millimeter Hummer. And 18 is enough. So, yeah, hold on. Which way do I turn? You have to turn it. Let's get an extension. Now, room, you're gonna need extension on here, guys. Are we going clockwise or counterclockwise? Same way we were going before. Okay. okay. Push that way. We're going counterclockwise. Yes, counterclockwise. Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, stop. So what you can do sometimes That's when you can't get it is you take your hammer. Hammer. Get on there and just sledge works too. I just always use the dead blow first so I don't break stuff up. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this like this and get a little better leverage. Good lord. So no matter what we do here, we got this. You get that, I'm gonna get a sledge real quick. Okay, step out of the way so I don't hit you. Step out of the way so I don't hit you. 
Okay, sledgehammer. Okay, sledgehammer. I'm gonna be sledgehammer. Okay. Hold that in place. You might need to get a breaker bar on this guy. I usually get a Boy is I can just drop kick it out of here. Really tight. So I'm going to find go grab my breaker bar and we're gonna be back in a second. So I have this bar on here. It's making it hard. Get it on there on the angle. So we're gonna pause this real quick. I'm gonna get my small TV it. blast on it, and then we're gonna grab a breaker bar. Okay. All right. So this here breaker bar. Breaker bar. Let's see if this will get us a little more better leverage. That didn't sound good. This is how it is. You gotta break that first part free. That peanut butter blast does not smell like peanut butter. It does not smell like peanut butter, but you know what it does? Cleans this stuff up like peanut butter cleans out my colon. Alright, so there we go. We now have it loose enough that we can use the tool. So go to work, Kyle. Come over here, Mark. Don't lean on the machine or the truck. It's up in the air. Okay. We got two jack stands and a jack, but that doesn't mean stuff can't happen. Okay. He's gonna remove that. We'll be right back when he gets it. No? We got it off. Yep. Get the top one. I started the video. Turn the bar off. Take the breaker bar off. The extension. The extension is going to make too much work for you. I turn it into the No, door. come here. Come here. Are we recording again? Yes. Okay. Pull that off. Carrie, you almost hit your hands. I'm good. The other side. I knew that. Make sure you did. Push the button on the back. There we go. Which way? Same, Same way. way. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Almost always that way. Well, this is certain, this certain is righty loosey things that, lefty. Things this that, one is righty loosey lefty. No, no, it is not. That is, look. No. This is loosey. No. Yes, look. I'm going right. Yeah. No. This is where he said. What do you mean? No, righty is this way. I knew that. You're going left. Lefty, righty. You get it? Your hand is moving to the right, but the actual function is not. Um. Oh, it's because when you do this, go back, left. Is it that one? No. Oh. Pause the video. This is going to take a minute. Okay. I got the other one All off. All right. You got it off. I explained to him the righty tighty, lefty loosey come. is lefty righty. Uh, and that is most of the time, unless the part itself spins and rotates. And then sometimes they are the opposite where they are lefty tighty. Righty loosey. Righty Lucy, and that's because they're spinning to uh, get themselves. So we got this here. So we got that off. Um, and then we're going to knock this out of here, okay? Like this. Take these out. Very simple. And then I might have to use a pry bar to do this. Do you want me to open this? Nope, with the sledge. We're not ready yet. Okay, so it's been on there so long, I'm gonna have to get up under here. Watch out. I'll bring it back. I'm getting mine. Gotta be careful. You don't want a mustard ring getting stuck in there. So we are going to PV blast in that hole and around it. Hopefully break it free. I'm backing up. Um, it has to come off. And then while we're waiting on that, we are going to take this guy off. Hand me a uh, 15 millimeter. A what? <laughs> 15. <laughs> I got some allergic PV blast. <laughs> All in my face. 15 millimeter. 
One five mm. That's it. Okay. Yep. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is remove these. And yep, I was right. It is a fifteen. So bring this camera down here. Uh, let's lower it. Okay. You guys are gonna go for a ride. Ready? Y'all just fell off the Superman. Might have to go one more actually. Get way down there. They're gonna be with you. Yeah. Hi. Well, thanks. We are gonna have to put you under here so you can see the sway bar bushing while we're working, okay? So there is the sway bar bushing. I got a 15 here and a 15 millimeter on the back. Put you there and hope you're out of my way enough. We will find out in a second. Right up there, my wrench. Where did that wrench go? Yep. Yep. Under. Now then, I got it. It was under my buttocks. All right, everybody. So get here. I sprayed this earlier. I hope it was enough. That was a good one, Colin. Uh, 6.3? Did it sound like it smelled? 6.4. It sounded like it smelled. 6.4. Y'all think? So, I'm just doing this one real quick. I should have had him do it. Uh, but there we go. So, you do here, you pull this down. I'll leave the bolt here. We're gonna kinda clean up a little. It's filthy. Clean up that metal as we put some new one on. Hold on. Your dust in my eyes. What is this do? This helps with steering sway when you hit bumps and stuff. It just kind of keeps you. So you don't lose complete control. Yeah, yeah, yes. And like body sway. That's why it's called a sway bar. It's connected here, you see? And it's just like body roll kind of thing. Put that, please. You know that's all they're hearing is just back in the ground with a hammer, right? Well, either way, if me slapping an extension, it's, with it's, a well, don't do that. Don't ruin my extension. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so we got this free, almost. Now the problem is getting this actual link out. Okay. What? I may need it. Don't mess with it until we're done for sure. I'm putting it up there. Okay. This guy's still stuck on here. Um, oh. I'm going to walk this whole process. It has fun. some crumbs here. I might have to put that back on to get this pride off. It is not going. I might try a uh, ball joint fork. But it's going to be a difficult to get in that place. Um, where's those bolts? Grab those bolts. I'm going to bolt this Little up bolts. top. The ones that we put up there. The first one to the right. Right there. The non castle. No, the one's not a castle. Sorry. Right. First, first slightly. I don't know if I can see. I'm going to slightly put this back on just to see if it'll hold it up a little while I work here. Where's that rubber piece you're asking about? Um, that you asked if I need to do that. Put the rubber part with it. A rubber piece. Have a rubber. Yeah. Oh. That's alright, we'll just use this. Hold the place because I cannot get it to break free. Oh. Alright. When you smack on the sway bar, it loosens this rust that's up in the hole. have to use uh, uh, the fork. fork the fork which I don't know how it's gonna get in there at this angle we might have to just heat this up with a torch but I don't even know if I got one here anymore give him that him and that we're gonna keep PB blasting this and uh, 
Hope it gets more of that rust and stuff out so it just pops out. And we'll be back and I'll show you whatever way I do it that I get it all the way out. All right. Close it. Ready? We still have not got that part off, so we're gonna put this one on. Uh, we're gonna put that leverage we had. We're gonna slide this out, so we gotta loosen this all the way up. And then we're gonna probably have to cut that guy out. I cannot get it off. I tried to press, nothing will work. All right, y'all. So you get that there, pry that off, and then I bought both sides because I wasn't sure if I had the 33 or the 31. Were you grabbing those packages? Don't open them yet. Okay, no, give me the package. The box. The package is laying up there. Oh. Okay, let's see what we got here. You try it up. That's what color dye used to be. Yeah. So which one is that that I got out? It doesn't say. They don't okay. say on them. Open that up gently. Don't rip the box we got in. So this is the 7353. We're going to find out if it's the right size or not. you got to open this up. It is. Yeah. Not. Okay. When you're putting it back together, remember there's two bolts. One is shorter and one is t longer. You're short. Uh, the short one goes to the front. P POV school okay. pictures. And the one goes in the back. Alright, go ahead and pause that with you. I'm bringing the camera over, guys. Give me a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Can you see it? Oh my. You gotta put it under the bumper. No, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. Like that. Yeah. Can you see it now? Um, I don't know. Can you see, really you see, can see the camera. Look at it. It's hard to. Yeah, they can see. Good. Okay, turn on. Yeah, it's on. Okay. All right, everybody. So this bolt, I don't know how it's this short, but it would not go back in because the new bushing was thick and had to be pushed in. So the other one was about double. So what I did was, as I got another one like this, a body bolt that I had. You it's still a body bolt. It. Same dimension, same thread, but bigger. And I stuck it in and did it. It was the only way I could get it. So you might have to go to your parts store if you somehow had this problem. Because it's like the holes kind of rusted out and like barely reach in there. But it's the same. Oh, not the same head size though, so I almost stripped it. Um, there you go. So that is the bushing. Um, we're going to try to get this Fine, still off. On. Yeah, we're going to get the sway bar link off. Uh, we're probably going to have to cut it with a cutoff saw. So mm. we're going to do that and we'll be back in a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, everybody. So I was trying to beat that out in mushroom. So I'm going to have to cut the end off with a cutoff saw. And then I'm going to try to put the castle nut back on and see if I can press it through. <laughs> up that's hot so I ain't gonna touch it okay so we're going to try to press this through with some washers it's gonna be difficult I'm gonna put that washer in there it's such a struggle we've been doing this one part for like two hours uh, that's ridiculous. yeah I hope the other side is easier cuz I hope so too but you never know with our luck okay. tighten this up that going and then sometimes you can press stuff through this way it might is it working it doesn't always work so it, it does nothing but we're just trying see if i can or can you you can use the washer as a the leverage usually it works better for pulling in but sometimes it can help loosen it just enough when you're doing this <laughs> that it uh causes it to pop out yeah okay Okay. Nope. Where'd it go? I know I didn't lock it. That's not perfect. Put the castle back on without it. And there's a castle. 
Yeah, it's Castle. Look. Yeah, it's a new one. Mm -hmm. I'm using that bad boy. I'm breaking it. Okay. Put that on. Tighten it a little. Oh, there we go. There. Okay, where's the uh, sledgehammer? Hey, man, sledgehammer. You still recording? Yeah. Hummer. Really don't care at this point. You know, the worst case scenario we're gonna end up with though is we're gonna have to drill this out in the middle. You don't care at this point, do you? It's just a part. We don't need that part. But we do need it off. Um, here, where'd that fork go? some uh, cobalt bits and drill this out super slow middle 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 and it's gonna weaken it and then we'll be able to break it out so mm -hmm. we'll be back after we get that done. Can I drill Fair it? Enough. Yeah, we'll hold drill a bit. Okay, well, after three hours we it, finally got this piece off. It was long but it wasn't that long so look what, like we, look what we had to do. We had to drill out the whole the middle to weaken it before it would beat out of there. And we actually drilled so far through this that we came out the back side of this but we didn't come through here. And it had to keep weakening and weakening it, and then I had to hammer it around, and then it took forever. It we took beat like on it with a sledgehammer, an pry bars, everything. It was ridiculous. So I hope we that didn't happen to you. So in case it does, does y'all might want to go rent a press for tie rods, tie rod press. Um, they're the same system, and it'll come in and it'll, it'll latch onto here and prop pop the part through. Um, if this one jams, we are going to get a press. We um, are giving up immediately. Yeah, we'll be done for the night for this. Um, but we just wanted to catch up with y'all and show you on. That's how it is. Um, put that back in. I showed you had to end up having to get a longer bolt because somehow the one they had was so little and it would no longer breathe. We got that other tire on. We got the tire on. We got everything here. Uh, take that. Put it up on the trailer on the flat plate of it. Just run down a break. Nope. All right. So these are. What was it, an 18? Yeah, that was a 17, and that one's an 18. So we're gonna take these off, and we'll be back in a few. Phone has very low power, so. All right, so we got it finally today. I let it sit overnight with PV Blast, and then I took this and crammed it in there and hit it with the hammer so it was giving pressure to the back. And then I backed this castle nut where it was off the threads a little. Now we got a problem with spinning because I beat it, but I got it to pop in. So we got this here, and then I beat it with a hammer. So the extra over so I wouldn't warp out the actual thing. Um, but now we have the second problem that can happen with uh, tie rods is that it starts spinning freely in the back there. Um, so we may have to cut it off now when I got it popped free. All right, so we'll update you on that. Cutting free is going to need it. I just shoved this back in there as hard as I could, hit it with the hammer, and it's holding the actual uh, stud of it free. So now I got to take this out, as you can see. It's free. I just got to loosen that one up top, and it should go and pop right out. All right? So, back in a few. Okay. Now we're moving this here. Recording? Yep. I only got my tripod, so I'm gonna out here to pull it today. So, remove this here. Uh oh, put that back in so it keeps itself. Now it doesn't want to stay in there. Okay, pull that off. Pop that guy out like you were just a second ago. And it's like, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, y'all saw it pop out on itself. I was like, no, I don't want to pop out. Alright, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to drop this and it's going to make that fall out so I don't have to fight it. So we need the 15 millimeter, which is right here. Oh, I'm 
See, so see these are both the same length. For some reason on the other side, one of them was half the size. And uh, it's because of that, it didn't work. Look, one's fatter than the other, the fatter one goes in the back, the skinner goes in the front. Um, yesterday I had to make it in the whole front. So pop that off. Look at that, we didn't head to the, I mean, destroyed as bad. This one was reasonable though, the new ones aren't. That kind of sucks. Um, take this here. seen better days. I'm gonna go grab the new ones and uh, put them on. As you can see, I don't have my helper today. He's got a soccer game and he helped a lot yesterday for like six hours because we're trying to beat that off. So yeah, uh, very helpful, very helpful. Okay, so y'all didn't see it on the other part. Here is where we removed that from. Two bolts, you go on the front hole and the back one, not the one in the middle. Okay, and you can see my sway bar is old, so I think I may replace it. It's kind of all worn out. Uh, see if I can find one at the junkyard. If not, I might buy one, but they're like 200, I think. That's where we found one. She found it, I didn't know what price she said. I got a little more than I really want to spend on a sway bar, but it helps keep you from uh, rolling in the turn. So it's always good to take care of that kind of stuff. Here we go. So these are a little bit of pain. Sometimes you guys took a screwdriver or something in there to uh, pry the new ones because they're just so stiff. That's what she said. Um, so you gotta get it open. And then I'm gonna use this when I pry it to pry it. So I can get in there and hold it open for me when I uh, do it. I usually use a flathead screwdriver, but I don't feel like getting up. Right the crap out of it. Man, this thing is no joke. It's cold out too now today. I'm just fighting me and my hands are all worn out for me on watching yesterday. It's exhausting. I know if you're watching, you're like, just go get a screwdriver, man. Man, about that life. Make it hard, ridiculously hard. There we go. Bring this around here. There we go. Right to the middle. Grab your old bracket. Okay, now 
on end kind of. said if you get like those ones I had at first um, I don't know how that other one got so short and it did not work I don't know if it like rusted away but it looked just like it, it was shorter I moved someone years ago before me where I've owned this for 16 years I think and they lost one and replaced it stupidly I should have tightened that up all the way yet before I put on the tie rod I might have to loosen it right back up. I was busy playing with it and I started getting like, oh, I'm done. Went too far. So, it may. I'm losing shit. I'm going to go find it. It's so windy out there. Alright, let's see if we can do this still. Might have someone have a problem. Yeah, do sometimes is force it to do it's hard. Force it to that. I can hit with everything. Okay, I got a pry bar here to assist me. Wherever I put it. Alright. There are no frogs. Grab this here, be careful you ain't got it on nothing. Almost there. It's the angle. It's gonna have to push itself. If you look at my sway bar though, man, it looks like it's pushed too far back. You know? Definitely, I think I'm gonna need a new one. So we're in. So now we can. Hello. Hello. You back? I'm not helping. You're not helping? You did too much helping yesterday? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Did you can't... tell them it took us all day to get that other oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It took us forever. We had to drill it out. It took like three hours. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Where's that wrench? Where's that wrench? Oh. Shiny. Front of my butt. But so now we have that in. We tighten both of these down. Um, you got one mine. If you look, we're probably trying to see the sway bar. It fits, but it seems like it's too far back. Like maybe the bar gave over time. Just how close are you? To being done? Yeah. Now just gotta tighten these all up. And then you're done. Uh huh. Put the tire back. Did you have to drill through it? No, I uh. This one, I since it sat all that peep last, Colin. Mm -hmm. So I took this fork, like I was showing them, and I beat it as hard as I could down there so it was giving pressure against the tie rod right here and against there. And then I unscrewed this castle nut just enough that it was out and got up and I stood up and got like as full swing as I could get without hitting the truck. And finally, it was like doop, 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 about four or five of them came off. We lost our helper, everyone. He's gone. Let's take 
forever. Less, you know, a little less roll in the turns than we have. Uh, it's old though. It's a Dodge. They're trying to like the roll, so we could still have plenty of roll. I gotta change different sockets because they. Uh, different new ones are not the same. Ugh. Try five eighths. Nope. Bigger. Ten sixteenths. Nope. Even bigger. Three fourths. That we're going for. That'll do it. Three fourths. I think got eighteen here that I was using. I found it. Is it an eighteen still? Eh. I have an eighteen. Three fourths works better. The eighteen didn't want to fit on it. So. Okay, let's see what the top is. It looks like a smaller one, so we're gonna go 9 16 and it is. I think that was what it was yesterday, I was guessing. That's what I thought. Somewhere there was a 9 16 Woohoo, you almost got smoked. Could you feel it? I'm gonna pause this while I tighten up too. I have to watch all of it because we're already at like 10 minutes more. Get that cotter pin in there and bend it around to get as tight as you can go. And there's your new bushing. There's your new tie rod, in, or I mean, uh, link, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, I was gonna grease all this up. I think I'll do it tomorrow. I can reach all these grease fittings with the tire on. Um, the new swivel links do not have grease fittings, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, they may need me replaced sooner. It sucks because they're a lot more expensive now. They're like 40 bucks. Um. I think that's it. So, if you like the video, watch Kyle help. We're going to have him helping on the working on stuff a lot more. He's 15 now, so it's time to get out there and learn all this stuff. Now he's getting, you know, just mature enough that he's not just breaking everything and strong enough that he can help when I can't get something to give me an extra little boost or something. And uh, realize that, you know, he's going to have a car in a year or so, so he needs to learn how to do all this. So, yeah, I think that's it. If you like it, please like, subscribe, and if it helps during these times, as always, I'm RJ. Seize the day, each and every day. Bye-bye.